Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join the hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. News broke today about the Islanders and the Devils, so I wanted to do a video uh, about them both. I'll go over the Islanders, and I'll talk about the Devils and what happened with them. So with the Islanders, Matthew Barzell agreed to a three-year, $21 million contract, which is an AAV of $7 million. Phenomenal, phenomenal contract for both sides. You know, Matthew Barzell gets the money he wanted, a bit less, which is great for the Islanders, and Lou was able to retain his star and bring him back for another three seasons with the Islanders. I love this cap hit. I think this is a phenomenal contract for both sides, and, um, you know, I'm glad they were able to bring back Barzell as this was going later and later. You know, the season starts very soon, but um, you saw his name on the training camp roster, so I... You kind of assumed from that there was going to be a deal reached relatively soon. And, um, you know, this cap hit is a steal. Great contract for both sides. And I'm glad they were able to get it done because I really like what Barzell offers the Islanders. So, um, job well done on, on all sides. And then talking about the Devils, um, Corey Crawford announced his retirement today. I did a video a couple of days ago with, um, you know, you heard the rumors of this happening. He was missing practices and um, they were asking Lindy Ruff and everybody and they really couldn't give away an answer um, they just said personal reasons, maintenance day, he had to talk to his family. So once you kind of heard that, you, you assumed this was coming. I didn't think this quick, but you assumed it uh, coming up in the, in the coming weeks or maybe during the year. I don't know. So, um, you know, he released a statement that he wanted to continue his career, but believes he's given all he can to the game of hockey. He has decided that it was time to retire. He um, would like to thank the Devils organization and understanding and supporting his decision. So he released that statement today along with thanking the Chicago Blackhawks and um, their organization, you know, for him living his childhood dream to winning Stanley Cups, to being on a great team of great people and, um, you know, had a great time with Chicago. Um, I know he wanted to finish his career. You saw him getting new gear with the Devils after he signed. You saw that sick helmet that he put out and, um, you yeah, I wish he would have been able to um, play with the Devils because I think he really would have helped this team but it's very unfortunate you know dealing with concussions is a very tough thing you hear people who have this deal with symptoms on a daily basis or even the worry about those symptoms rehashing you know even ex-NHL players talk about when they've gotten concussions you know the symptoms that they live with every day afterwards is bad and um, you know Corey Crawford has come out and said in the past couple of years that he was dealing with a lot of headache issues um, stemming from the concussions he had and um, you know he had very very bad sensitivity to light and it was hard to be around his family and kids in regards to that so um, it, it's tough to deal with this it's tough to walk away from something that you know he wanted to continue but um, he couldn't because it was hard to you know um, dealing with the, the balance and everything as well with I think he had vertigo issues as well so it was tough it's tough and um you know he talked it over with his family and he had to retire i know this sucks for devils and devils fans as we wanted to see him in blackwood play this year but um you know whatever's best for himself his health and his family is most important and trumps hockey in that regard so um you know talking about Corey crawford he's a two-time stanley cup champion two-time william jennings trophy winner he played in 488 games 260 wins 0.918 save percentage in 10 seasons. So he had a very illustrious career, um, played very well. He was well-loved with his teammates, well-loved with fans, um, well-loved with the organization. You know, he um, the Devils uh, members talked about how, how he made a, a good impact, being so friendly and so nice around people. And, um, you know, in the short time he was here, he made a little bit of an impact on the players too. So we can tell how good uh, Corey Crawford was as a person. So um, I wish him the best. I wish his family the best in whatever his um, he does going forward. So, um, you know, where does this leave the Devils? I know a lot of Devils fans were worried about his cap hit being uh, stuck on the Devils since he had, his age was 35 plus. So I'll get into that now. Um, you heard word that in the new MOA, multi-year 35 plus contracts where compensation is the same or goes up and no signing bonuses after the first year no longer subject to cap hit on retirement. So this means no cap hit for the Devils going forward. So they can have that money back on their cap to spend it elsewhere. So looking at their options, there's not a lot left. So any name that I mention here doesn't draw a lot of excitement with Devils fans. So um, you could stay in-house with the players we have with Wedgwood. You know, um, they were asking uh, Lindy Ruff and staff, how Wedgwood was playing, and they loved the way he was playing. They said that he was playing very well with Blackwood, but if the Devils are intent on having a very competitive season, they have to possibly add another person. That's kind of the impression I got from the way Lindy Ruff was talking, that they've already been 
behind the scenes trying to figure out what to do next. So, um, you know, with the taxi squads, with, um, you know, Binghamton needing a goaltender as well, you know, with Sen uh, really uh, starting to develop, he played really well in Binghamton. I'm guessing he will stay there and develop a bit more. You have Cormier too. So those are the three goalies in our system. I do believe that um, Sen will stay down and... Um, I don't know what happens with Cormier and Wedgwood. You know, I don't know if they stay in Binghamton or if one goes to um, the taxi squad. We'll have to wait and see. So, um, you know, looking at the free agent route, you know, you have Jimmy Howard out there still available. Uh, I, know, I know a lot of people were saying Anderson and Miller, but Anderson just signed a PTO, I believe, with the Capitals, and Miller signed somewhere else as well. So the free agents left available are Jimmy Howard, which I would assume is the best option right now, and uh, Mike Condon and Garrett Sparks. If you go in the trade route, you have Reimer, you have uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, and you have uh, uh, Ranta. So those are the three names that they want to go the trade route, which I don't think the Devils will go. I don't think they want to lose assets in trying to acquire a goaltender unless you try to take a goaltender off a, ca a cash-strapped team. Maybe you wouldn't spend as much, so maybe they go that route. And on waivers, you have Darling, who was just released, and um, Hutchinson. So in my guess, if the Devils don't want to go the trade route and don't want to lose any assets... I would go towards Jimmy Howard or Darling in this regard. Try to pick them up to sign them on a PTO or on a very cheap contract to see if um, if that's a good option. So, um, yeah, that's what we have now. Uh, Devils have roughly around 12, a little bit over $12 million, I believe, left in cap space now. So they still have to work out the, the Jesper Bratt contract. Um, hoping that gets ironed out. And, you know, bring in another goaltender to help Mackenzie Blackwood and um, try to add another forward is what I would I would hope they would do. So um, let's see. Season starts very, very soon. So um, we'll see what happens to this. So definitely comment below. Let me know what you think about these situations. Do you like the Barzell signing with the Islanders? What do you think about the whole Corey Crawford retiring? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join a hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the night. Have a great day. Take care. Be safe.